welcome back friends so this is second part of in growing toenail management and in this video we are going to demonstrate the live surgery in which we will demonstrate the digital nerve block the use of tourniquet do's and don'ts and uh, the total end nail excision along with the matrisectomy so friends if you are watching this uh, video on our youtube channel then at the outset i want to clarify that the whole surgery the whole video will be available as a free bonus content along with many other bonus video on our app and if you want to watch the whole video the whole surgery then please uh, download the app and uh, uh, enjoy the full video and the link for the same is available in the description of this video and i will share in the i cards also so the quick recap in the part 1 we have already discussed the theoretical part the types and causes of igtn the abc of local anesthesia for trainees how to calculate the dose maximum dose calculation the combination of local anesthesia that is how to use the lignocaine and bupivacaine and the anatomical basis of the distal nerve block first part is also available as a free bonus video on our app and on our youtube channel and please watch that video before uh, watching this video to have a better understanding of the concept you can go through this paper the, from the lichenstein honey and shoot and uh, you will have a better understanding about the use of local anesthesia the combination of lignocaine and bupivacaine and the link for downloading this paper i will share in the description so please go through and have a more in depth knowledge of the uh, concept so let's start with uh, this video the objectives to meet uh, in this video will be how to give the distal nerve block the you do's and don'ts or don'ts of tourniquets and the concept of matrisectomy to avoid the recurrence friends uh, for in doing toenail the recurrence is the norm and in this video we will share our technique to ablate the basically general matrix at the corner to have the recurrence level at lower side so uh, this uh, index patient uh, was a 35 year old lady uh, she had a recurrent in growing toenail she had already gone excision uh, of the nails bilaterally and again she was uh, she was again symptomatic so we planned for the sequential excision of the nails uh, left followed by right sign and symptom the etiology uh, the causative factors uh, and the grading we have already covered in depth uh, in the first part so please do watch that uh, the first video if you have not watched it already so the surgical intervention is indicated for grade 2 and grade 3 and this patient was falling in grade 2 of ingrowing toenail so the uh, first we will demonstrate the how to give the distal nerve block so patient has been cleaned and draped the written informed consent already taken and the friends it is important that uh, we take a written informed consent explain the patient the possibility of recurrence also because as i said the recurrence is norm in igtn and the patient should be aware that there should be written informed consent the test dose of local anesthesia should be given before injecting and do document that we have given the uh, test dose and uh, there was no adverse reaction to the local anesthesia so we use uh, 1% lignocaine and as we are using it on the uh, toe or on, on the fingertips always use, use plain lignocaine without ADR always dilute it to 1% so we inject around 2 to 3 ml of lignocaine uh, between uh, basically anterior and posterior aspect so uh, in the middle inject with the help of this needle uh, uh, first go and hit the bone when you encounter the resistance draw it a little bit and uh, this picture uh, is basically we have discussed in the first part that there are two nerves on either side on the bone so we hit the bone first then we withdraw it little bit then uh, we inject approximately 2 to 3 ml on either side and that will suffice so wait for at least two three minutes for the local anesthesia to work and don't inject more and uh, as i said it can lead to the vascular compromise also if we are injecting more than 7 to 8 ml uh, in the finger or in the tone tone toes so uh, to avoid that complication this is the concept of the digital nerve block rub that area and uh, uh, wait patiently and uh, it will have a good outcome and good anesthetic effect 
so check the effect of anesthesia with the help of this uh, uh, tooth forceps and uh, remember that the local anesthesia will just ablate the pain sensation patient will have sensation to touch so don't uh, basically uh, confuse the sensation to touch to pain because uh, patient will keep on feeling and you always can confuse the thing that patient is still having pain so uh, now we will demonstrate the technique of using the glove finger so we cut the glove finger uh, on two side and roll it as a uh, this rubber band and we apply two basically this uh, uh, around the circle uh, this uh, two loops around the greater toe and this is again very important concept that we uh, this apply this uh, artery forces friends just remember and uh, so uh, this is the trick of the trade that i am sharing with you that uh, you loop this rubber band of the glove finger between the uh, jaws of uh, this uh, artery forceps and because uh, then if there is artery in c2 the patient cannot go home with this uh, tourniquet in c2 and we have seen a major complication as the patient has left the operation theater with tourniquet in c2 and leading to the total gangrene of the uh, greater toe so uh, friends always apply this artery forceps and uh, then apply some loops around it so that when you are applying the uh, basically dressing at the end the tourniquet will not get covered inside the dressing and you will always remember to remove this tourniquet because this artery is there to remind you again we are ensuring the effect of local anesthesia has uh, reached adequate level and patient doesn't experience any pain so we uh, prick the this uh, tip of the toe uh, with the help of this uh, uh, tooth forcep and now we are starting with the uh, surgery per se so we apply these two small nicks at the corner of this nail bed and these are approximately 1.5 to 2 cm 